joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Well, for those of you who've never attended an affinity event before, let me briefly introduce you to the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group of young Muslim Australians in 2000. Their aim is to promote multiculturalism, foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society. First half then was to introduce, it was to welcome, now to introduce. And uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our facilitator for today, Mark Hutchinson. Mark is an Australian intellectual historian, currently Professor of History and Dean of Education, Arts and Social Sciences at Alfred Cruces College. He's published widely in the history of Australian higher education and the history of global evangelism. He has taught and run research programs at the University of New South Wales, Macquarie University and Alfred Cruces College. Mark was Assistant Director of the Currents in World Christianity Project at Cambridge University and University Historian at the University of Western Sydney. Pretty prolific writer there, Mark. He's the author or editor of 15 books and over 100 research projects and a prolific contributor to conferences and research projects in the media. Please join me in welcoming Mark as our facilitator today. And uh, thanks for working out the microphone. Um, hi, welcome. I'm actually here sort of slightly in, uh, under false colours because I'm representing Anne Brewer who wanted to be here. And she's a far more um, uh, capable and, and, and uh, uh, quick person than I am. Thank you for the introduction, John. Um, I'm delighted to be here. But before I announce our main speaker, I'd like to acknowledge the uh, distinguished guests in the room. Uh, we have with us uh, the former Premier of New South Wales, Barry Unsworth. And this is a great moment for me because I've actually written about Barry. <laughs> uh, Ahmed uh, Yamakoglu, who is the Director of Dialogue Services at the Australian Universal Federation of Education and Culture. Greg Rochford. Uh, it's CEO of uh, Neurodevelopmental and Behavioural Paediatric Society of Australasia. Uh, David Sherlock, uh, CEO of the David Sherlock Consulting Company. Um, Robin Yates, uh, whose name I've often heard uh, in, in various um, uh, circles in which I live. So nice to meet you too, Robin. Chief Policy and Compliance Officer um, uh, at the Association of Independent Schools. Uh, David Wright, Senior Lecturer in Social Ecology and Transformative Learning at the University of Edu uh, at the School of Education at um, Western Sydney University. We're not allowed to call it WSU, but apparently the brand Nazis don't allow you to do that. Um, Anne Empson, who's Schools Relationship and Governance Manager in the United Church. Uh, Aaron Boyd, who's CEO of Unity Grammar. Uh, Denise, er uh, Denise Erdogan, who's uh, uh, Executive Principal at Amity College. Uh, Waleed Guna, who's uh, General Manager at, at Crescent Wealth. Uh, me, <laughs> Susan, Susan Green, Janet Jensen, uh, Mehmet Kocha, uh, Andreas Schaaf, and uh, Erhan Boskurt. And we'd like to particularly uh, thank uh, our sponsors for the day, uh, who we'll come back to in a moment. Uh, for, that's uh, Erhan Boskurt from uh, Sultan Meat, who's a very generous sponsor of today's event. I'm delighted to introduce today's keynote speaker, who's Michael Carr, the Acting Chief Executive um, of the Association of Independent Schools in New South Wales, an extremely important um, uh, organisation as well here. Michael holds um, Master's Degrees in Education, Commerce and Labour Law. He has extensive experience with the school environment, both as a teacher of mathematics and as a principal of three large Sydney high schools. Michael has previously been Director of Governance and School Reviews, Director of Business Services and Director of Industrial Relations. And he represents the Independent Schools uh, Council of Australia on a number of national committees. Today, Michael will be presenting a talk entitled, We Are One, But We Are Many, Independent Schools Making a Difference. It's important to note, I think, that um, uh, Australia is uh, the country with the most expansive democratic choice of schools in the world per capita. And AIS represents uh, a huge number of those schools. 
There are, however, a number of um, myths which circulate in the broader community regarding independent schools. So what does the independent school sector actually look like in New South Wales? Michael's presentation will profile the sector as a whole, but also provide insights into what you might call typical independent schools, which might result in some atypical um, realisations for some of our hearers. Michael will examine the sector's demography in terms, of its, in terms of its relationship with Indigenous students, students with disabilities, multicultural-based schools, and the contribution of independent schools and uh, that these make to our Australian society. And he'll finally make some, some, some conclusions about the educa education standards of independent schools in New South, New South Wales. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Michael Carr.